And we're back for another episode of MLB The Show 19 for your Mesa Twins franchise. How you doing, everybody? Eric M. and Twins 28. We're on Season 1, Episode 2 of MLB The Show 19. And we're going to get going with our first spring training game. Made a quick change. Um, I decided for this first game, I want to see what Dallas Keuchel can do. So, um, and um, so we're going to... Pit, let him pitch game one here. I had Bar uh, Barrios as the number one guy, but I'm, I switched it around. And I'm actually glad I did. I didn't do this because... I didn't switch him because of this move. I just did it because I wanted to. Well, now, see, uh, Dallas Keuchel is ranked 84. Originally, he was 82. He was tied to Barrios. So when I went in here to do the switch, because I want to see Keuchel, I noticed uh, his overall went up a couple points. So I'm like, okay. He seems to be happy, so we yeah he's plus two points now. So, and that was before I did the switch. So, I don't know what's going on. So Keiko seems to be happy. Maybe he's just happy he's got a job now. But we're gonna go look at Dallas Keiko, and we're taking on the Baltimore Orioles in spring training. Ooh, oh yeah, that's right. They got new uniforms this year. I forgot about that. Home 59, 61, 78. They need to bring the old... Uh, do we still got the red ones? I think I saw red. Oh, there's the reds. Okay. Let's try those. I'd like to see those. Home. Yeah. Pants. Road. There we go. Alternate road. There we go. Oh, uh, they got the same boring cities again. Or fields. They can never, never change them. We'll do a minor league park. Let's see here. Something different. They're all the same damn stadiums again. It's just... I wish they would update these. Highland Park. Huh. All American Park. Oak Street Park. The Porch. Capitol Field. Crystal Falls. Mm. There we go. There's a spring training. That one screams spring training. We'll use that one. And we're going to MLB Network and we're going to go Clear Skies. Dallas Keuchel, and here's our starting lineup. Buxton in the center, Kepler in right, Sano the third baseman, Cruz is the DH, Eddie Rosario in left, Estadio is the catcher, CJ Crone first base, Marwin Gonzalez the shortstop, Jonathan Shoup, Shoup, second baseman. It's so weird not seeing Joe Maurer at first base. Uh, it's going to be really hard to get rid of, uh, to grasp my head around. No Joe Maurer. No Brian Dozier. It's weird. It's really weird. But we're going to get to this. Hopefully we can... This is the start of a championship caliber team. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today it's Grapefruit League action between the Minnesota Twins and the Baltimore Orioles. Nice graphics. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And I want to talk about shortstop Alcides Escobar. This guy's a premium defender. He's been that way his whole career. A former World Series champion. They have ability to go up the middle and to the backhand with strong arm. Now with the plate, Byron Buxton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. All right, here we go. First delivery to him on the way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. That was cool. See the first pitch up there. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. 
Always a new case. Always the case when I start a new version of this game. I always struggle right away. Hit hard on the ground right to him. Throws in time, and that's out number one. I need to get rid of that trail. That might drive me nuts. Max Kepler, the next to grab. We're actually going to do that. Options, presentation, uh, ball. Where's the trail? Um, gameplay. I think it was under general. Oh, maybe not. Pitching, hitting. Ball trail. Here it is. Off. Yeah. There we go. The bat. All right. His past history with Dylan Bundy. He's got four hits and ten at bats. He's taken him deep once. First well, maybe we'll take him way. deep right here. He pulls this one well, he got a hit. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. All right, Kep. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove that it into the outfield for the a base hit. Miguel Sano. Here's Miguel Sano. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Man at first for him following the one out. I think Sano got a haircut. Comes set and the 0 1. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, it takes a nasty hop Oops. and he's unable to haul it in. Hey, a little top of the order lightning right here, Dan. The second and third guys in the batting order throw. I'm probably an error. Now you're staring a monster in the face. Nope. Hero, this is just what you don't There's want to Cruz. face as a pitcher, right? You get the two and three hole guys up, and all of a sudden now. Oh, what four, was that? Five and six going to have to get through the meat of this tough batting order. And try a cur a change up, I think. Hard on the ground. Base hit. Short. Base hit. I could have scored on that. Jeez. Well, some games take a little time to heat up, but not this one. We're just five batters in, and the bases are already juiced. Come on, Eddie. Almost hate to say it, but this might be the turning point of the game already. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh! That one up. Right just down Broadway. Late. Damn. That was a home run written all over. Here's the 0 1. Oh. Stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul. I got to check something here. I got to go back to my options. Um, Gameplay. I got the analog type flick stride. Yeah, let's try that one. I think that's why I'm having some trouble. I'm trying to flick it, and I don't like that. I want to stride. Line toward the gap that helps. Center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And the run will score as the Twins grab the early All right. lead. Nice and job. Two run single for Eddie. Here's Estadio. That'll bring in Williams Ostadio. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Let's see here, still a double play depth here, so we can get him to slap one the other way here. Yep. Ooh. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Still only one out in the inning. I knew they were going to go low on him, try to get him to ground ball it. And a fastball ah. blew it right by him, and there are two down. So striding forward now, C.J. Crone. And now the Twins look to plate more in the opening frame. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss that time, it's 0-1. You know, I think this is a big situation in this game. They've got to lead by a couple of runs, but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. 
Scoring oh. more here would be huge. Behind 0 and 2 now. We might try to throw that curveball. A pause nope. and the 0-2 is swung on and missed. Jeez. Well, we got two on them at least. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matt, this lineup finds themselves down two runs. Nothing crazy. Everyone relax. Stay within the game plan. Find a way to execute and get one run on the board. There he is. Dallas Keuchel gets the ball for the Twins in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Dallas Keuchel is a complete pitcher. He's kind of a throwback to a Jimmy Key kind of pitcher. A Tom Glavin type, not overpowering, 89 to 91 miles an hour would sink. Has the curveball, has the slider, and the straight changeup. What makes Dallas Keuchel so good, he'll throw all four of his pitches at any point in the count. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. That was different. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first Hold strike. On. Into the corner. I wish the real twins foul. would sign somebody like Keiko. We could really use him. And it's fouled away. All right, let's put him away here. Let's give me that. Yep, give me that four seamer. Him up. Got him, pop up. Gonzalez calls for it. Marwin's got it. One away. All right. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. That'll bring in Joey Rickard. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Hmm. It's an interesting new feature. Uh, animations. Now a Might not get used to that. Might turn that off. Bases are empty. One man out. Oof. They're fighting. They're fighting him. Swing Got him. On the fastball that time, out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. First delivery to him on the way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Rosario will get there and he puts it away to retire the shot. Yeah, we're going to change that. I don't like that. Uh... General. Where is that one? Throwing, fielding, in play. Huh. Where is that one? Huh. I don't know where that other thing is. Maybe it's a different presentation. Oh, pre-pitch cameras. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Pre-pitch. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. Okay, here we go. History with Dylan Bundy. He's hitting 429. Marwin. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Gonzalez. A Venezuelan-born ball player. He was selected in the first round back in 2011. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. 
Mullins giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Just a lazy fly. Now to the plate, Jonathan Scope. Scope, not Shope or Shoop. Scope. First pitch like of the scope, mouth scope. Now a swing and a fly ball. And, and drop. No one will track it down. Right at the second baseman. Oh, he bobbled it. Can't pick it up cleanly. That's an error. What? 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 They hold a glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Let's see if Buxton can drive him. Here's Byron Buxton now as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. If I still had Zach Granite or somebody faster in the middle infield, I would b bat Buxton ninth. I think he does a better job down at the bottom of the order. But we'll see. Set to deliver on nothing in two here at Jeez, this guy throws a lot of heat up top. And two strikes. Guy throws way too many pitches up out of zone. Starting to catch on to it too, but working for the punch out and the offering. Slider laid off for a ball. Now time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll open up that outside corner, especially with left-handed batters. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. Really? That did not look like a check. That didn't. So it didn't look like he went to me. On, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jeez, we're just lazy fly balls. On it, and that ends the inning. That sucks. All right. We're going to fast forward. Manager. Whoop. No. There we go. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. Coming to the plate now. Got to get used to these new features. <laughs> single in his first try. First delivery to him on the way. Jesus. Trumbo moving to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. I'm going to have to play some more uh Spring training games off camera to get used to these controls again. I don't know why it is. Every new game, I always struggle. I ain't swinging that. Nope. Nice try. One out, nobody on. See, throws one here again. Oh my God, are you kidding me? All right, maybe I need to change that back to flick. Directional, that's what it is. Zone. Oh, God, no. I don't like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We don't want zone. The 1-1 one, one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Now, let's change it. Yeah, I don't like that.
Yeah, Obviously just... looking to pull the baseball right there out in front on that off-speed pitch. This will be an interesting sequence right here to see if he slows him down. Jesus the Christ. The running heater by him. And rarely do you see a player of his caliber fooled that badly. The fuck is this guy pitching? This guy's all over the place and I'm swinging like everything. This guy's garbage. And I'm swinging like garbage right now. Bases are empty here with two men out. I ain't swinging. And he missed with it. It's one and two. O2 oh, pitch, not even close to the zone, and a fastball might be an indication that he's going to start using some of his secondary pitches. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Misses, ball two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They, they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires. Okay, we're in the third inning here. Stepping up. Yep. So this will be his last we're inning. Off. Fuck. One out. We're gonna walk the batter. We're gonna. Fuck. Well, that didn't work out for him. <laughs> okay, so let's see who we got here. I'm gonna see Ramos. Yep. Next two, three guys. Next two guys. I want to see my. Uh, I want to see the guys I I picked up. Here's the first pitch to him. Slap hard the opposite way. Yeah, of course he, he caught it. On strong out there and right and pull this one down for the first out. Here's C.J. Crone now. Lifetime history with Alex Cobb. He's just two for twelve. He also has one home run. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And no one will track it down. Crone, a California-born ball player. He was a first-round pick back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick. Ooh, you know, that was close. And you carve out a career the way this guy has. Buxton nice would have got that one. Stepping in, Marwin Gonzalez. Gonzalez probably would have been called safe too. First delivery to him on the way. Hopped up, number 79, has room in foul territory, but this will land untouched. Wow, how did he hit that one? That was way outside. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. And he fouls this one off. God, the Orioles just are terrible at pitching. Pace. They're all over the place, and I'm swinging at everything, making them look great. Pops this one up. Another Escobar. fucking pop up. Ranging Drop it. He tracks it down. Bastard. And that will All right. AJ Ramos, 5'10 right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitch. All right, here we go. Digging in, Trey Mancini looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Buxton is right there, one down. Well, it's one. <laughs> And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, DJ Stewart, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No balls in one strike. Guy's got a weird delivery, but well, we're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Off the outside that time, as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. That's a really tough pitch to do anything with. The backdoor slider just Stay off the plate. Just See ya. Missing the strike zone. That's nearly an unhittable pitch to hit for a hitter. 
Got him swinging on the fastball there. DJ Stewart becomes out number two this inning. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Andrew Susak, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He this guy's wearing in uh, in this one. Gibson's number. Now to fix that. Now pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. 0-2, oh here it comes. A ball and two strikes. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. Two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. David Hess, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over. Okay. On Leading off the inning, Jonathan Scope, as they'll look to get something going. Hold here, it, we got righties. Uh, a Romero. First pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Oh, of course, dead center, and I still fucking fly out. That was a perfect hit. For the first down. Jeez. Ready for another shot. God. Iron Buxton, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Man, I just can't hit for shit right now. Into the box. Max Kepler. He singled and later scored back in the first, making him one for two so far. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Mancini has a beat on it. And that ends the inning. Down go the... Fernando Romero, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. All right. Ready for another chance? Number 79. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. And a good pitch on the inside corner. Oh, they gave me that one, but they didn't give him the last ones. Wow. Three, two ball game. Okay. <laughs> and he lays off oh, sure. Ball. That one, yeah. Mullins is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball, given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to see ya. balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Cedric Mullins becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Reached for and popped into the air, back behind second. Scott All right. there to make the catch and the side is retired. Jimmy Yacobonis takes over to start. Yacobonis. Digging Ball in. Still some. In his last at -bat, he popped I think I'm just going right. to go ahead and I'm going to. I think we're going to. Maybe we'll fast forward here. I'm excited yeah, yet. And I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a see good what swing cool on story that. can do. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line drive. Base hit for Sano. All right. Find some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Nope. 
Mullins patrolling center. Mm, sounds like my kid's up. Put my son down for a nap for a while ago. Sounds like he's Henderson waking up. Comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Oh, God, just missed a fucking double. I hit the O button too. I think that was contact. Oh, why are you swinging at? These Oreo pitchers have been throwing it outside like that all damn day, and I keep swinging at that garbage. And the slider gets it. Jesus. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring Williams Ostadio into bat. First delivery to him on the way. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to Trumbull will be in time, and the inning is over. Well, that was disgusting. Cole Stewart enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Standing in, Joey Rickard. He'll have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. Late square, and this is popped up. Sano is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in and looking for more, Jonathan VR. A hit in two tries so far. Right there for strike one. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Trying to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Throws Got him. Will get him as they pounce on it quickly to snuff out the bunt attempt. Nice play. He's good. Ostadio is one of the best. Mark Trumbo. He's rolled into ground outs a couple of times already here. He's the guy that did the snap throw to first here, and picked pitch somebody off last year. Anyway. Yeah. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a cold nice strike. pitch. Three runs, oh boy, Cole. Hits. One error thus far for Baltimore. Way Got way him. Nice pitching. Wow. Way to go, kid. That was a good, good job. Okay, I got two righties and a lefty. Let's go. I want to see this guy, and then I think we're going to stop after that inning. I'm going to let it simulate. So let's get, hold on, oh, too late. Oh, yeah, into the court, all the way to the gap, into the... All the way to the wall. Get in at second base as the time All runs right. aboard with a leadoff double. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, All right, now watch the substitutions. It might have been out of here. He hit it. Who was that? Was that Crone? Oh, I was Crone. Okay. I thought it was. I thought that was Cruz, but whatever. Crone plays first. I need some speed here. Tyler Austin. Does he got speed? No. Tanner English. Duda. He's got no speed either. Rosales, Span. Tanner English can. You know what? Kepler can play outfield. Yeah, ten, or Kepler can and play first. Now with the possible tying run at second here, we're going to have a pinched runner as they try to get a little more speed out there. Spinning a throw back to second, and the runner back easily. Ooh, that was close. And he'll turn and throw back to second again. Keep really, particularly dude? Particularly close tabs on him. He's gone. Standing he's gone, in he's now, gone. Marwin Gonzalez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Probably not the best idea to send him. Who's on deck? Shoop. Yeah. Stands at second with no outs. Here's the one. Gapper, like that. 
Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So stepping in, Jonathan Scope, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up Watch with this. that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Throw to first in time, but the safety squeeze there gets him a run. Yeah, wow. boy. A perfectly executed safety squeeze right there, and that's such a tough play to defend when it's done right. It can be risky, of course, but not as much as the suicide squeeze. Good call from the dugout on that one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounded back up the middle. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throwing the dirt, but a good scoop Scott. at first saves an error. Well, in. we got a run back, so that's good. Okay. Tanner English will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Adam Liberator gets the call from the pen to take All over. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go manager, substitutions. We're going to go Kepler and English are going to swap positions. Yep. Because Kepler can play first base. Yes. Tanner can play right field. I'm also going to swap some players here. Let's put in... Where's Nick? Did I call Nick? I didn't call him up. Huh. Well, that sucks. I thought I called him up. I thought I called Nick Gordon up, but I apparently didn't. He's set. Here it comes. Strike taken up in the zone. Weak grounder down the line at third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning. Game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Got him. And that's the oh. third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That was a nice pitch. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Andrew Susak. He went down on that strikes was terrible. last time up. One ball, no strikes to count. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit possible go ahead runs on first one away hit hard on the ground to second that's through for a base hit his second of the ball game and with that the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, D-Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on that leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. Oh, I thought he that was third out. Defense and saw where it was aligned and tried nice to catch, beat. Eddie. Ready now for Baltimore. Cedric Mullins. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Liberatur is there. He hauls it in, Ooh. and the potential go-ahead run will that not. That was scary. Richard Blyer has been summoned Oof. from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Okay, bullpen. Striding into the box. Yeah, ready, ready, ready. Three at bats to this point. Let's see. Like Parker. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nothing. Is camped under this one. One pitch, one away. In now. Come on, Sano. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swung on. Ah. It's 0 and 1. Why is it every time I pick up, it goes down, and when I go down, it goes up? That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Now a what the fuck is this shit? Are not real Come on, dude. Down. Pitch the fucking ball. Oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. Skied into straightaway right. Rickards under it. Jeez, I can't get nothing. Two gone. Now it will be the 
Minnesota DH. Nelson Cruz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it with this guy's big pass. And the throw is in time to get him to retire. The Blake Parker is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Back to the top of the Oriole lineup now and stepping in, Alcides Escobar. Mano a mano with Blake Parker. Two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. One ball, this one's strikes, outside, yeah. quite a bit off the plate that time. Here's another 1-2. Fouled off. Here he comes again, 1-2. Jesus Christ, away. dude. He'll try again <clears> one two. <throat> oh, and he can only battle for finally. so long as he's finally set down Jesus. here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, Joey Rickard. Back up to, oh, no, that got him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could, assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. At the plate, Jonathan Villar. He's working on a one for three thus far. Both teams with six hits so far. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Gonzalez in foul ground, but this will land untouched. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And eight innings have come and gone now as the All inning right. is over. We need to get a lead here. The ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. I'm gonna let two guys warm up just in case. Here's the first pitch to him. Off we go in the ninth. As the Hopefully, we can get a run here, so I can get Kimbrel in there. And we can end this episode here. That's borderline. I might try and line toward right center. Drop. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. And is that Eddie? To a single here as Why is he a 63 nice speed? Back in quickly. He's supposed to be faster than that. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fast. I do not understand why keep his hands this through, game constantly nice underspeeds Rosario. I've seen the man run in person. He is flaming fast. Suggest a pinch runner? Uh, no. We don't have anybody faster. Stepping in now, William Zostadio. As he pops the first pitch foul <laughs> behind the plate. Well, maybe Go we do. On Hang on. First. Hang on a second. Out. Oh, we do have somebody faster. Oh, he's an 84. Okay. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Lofted in the air Fuck. toward right center. In comes Rickard, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Stepping in, Tanner English. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. He's, going, he's, going, he's running. He's going. Swinging a ball hit on the goal. Go, baby, go. And yes. Hit and run ball as that's into right field. A base nice job, kid. Third is the possible All right. Score. 
Hey, you play to win the game right there. You want to put this nice job, Tanner. Heels a little bit. Late innings for that them. That was good. The hit and run. That's an aggressive tactic by the manager, and it paid off. Up next for Minnesota, Marwin Gonzalez. Not much in the way of productivity runner, runner, runner. from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Really forcing the issue with that steal of second. They already had the guy on third, so now two runners in scoring position, and there aren't any force outs other than at first. They're going to walk him. chance to drive in a pair right now. Yep. Yeah, now after the stolen base, it looks as though the dugout wants to go ahead and put him on here to keep that double play in order with one away. Now batting, the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. Marvin. He's a 37. Yeah, Polanco. Jorge Polanco will come on now and pinch run here. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And that'll bring up Jonathan Scope to hit next. Here's the first pitch. Squeezes on here and he gets it down. Throw to first in time. <laughs> safety squeeze there gets him a run. More to last time. That's what you call a small ball, baby. And now I can sit down Gabriel Moya. And then I can make Kimbrough come on in. You have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. That's a base hit. And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And he'll get in there safely. Two run double. That's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your That's my boy Buxton. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three run cushion has to make you feel good. Gregory Infante takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Into the box now, Max Kepler. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. He's going, he's and going. the runner's breaking for third. Here it swung on and missed the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Wow. The 0 2 delivery. Swing and a liner. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this. All right. Good to see our new guy. We'll stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Jorge Polanco will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. Ninth inning safe situation coming up now as they'll entrust Craig Kimbrell with the Oh, God. He's got that herky jerky fucking pose. The Here's fuck is that shit? Now. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. That's supposed to psych the player out. Um, sorry, I don't know. This pitch the fucking ball. Ooh. Fouled away. Boom! Oh. For a ball, it's two and two. Swing Got and him. a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Stepping up to the plate, Trey Mancini. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. High in the air down the right field line. English sprinting after it. He gets oh there boy. and makes the play for Two the down. second out of the inning. Now in the box, DJ Stewart. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. One Oof, 98 miles an hour. The 1-0 home is a fastball that misses. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. 
it's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, and especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly... Where is his control? One. That was on the border. That should have been a fucking strike. There's a strike. To even the count. One and one. Stewart, the runner at first with two gone. And this two. is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Baltimore down to their final strike. And this one's in the dirt. And it's Whoa, what was that? He's in well ahead of the throw. And just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. Has them down to their final <clears throat> strike. Here it comes. Ooh, now we got a battle brewing. Bye-bye. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Just more of the same from Craig Kimball. He comes out of the bullpen and fires a scoreless ninth inning to pick up the save. Business as usual from one of the best in the game. Six to three, the final That was a good game. Today. If you liked this episode, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. I think next time we'll uh, advance. We'll have advanced for a while. And you'll see some of the how the players are doing. And uh, we'll make the first round of cuts. Until next time, everybody. Peace out and go Twins.